Welcome back one and all to Fire Emblem Three Houses. I am the Dark Seraph. Last time, we did a little mission preparation. This time, we're playing through this. The Battle of the Eagle and Lion. So, this is to be our battlefield. Grander Field. Are you feeling confident, Professor? Very. Excellent. That's most reassuring. We can win. I'm sure of it. After all, it's not as though we've spent the last half year sitting idle. And I'm feeling stronger this moon. As though I could conquer a thousand opponents all on my own. Don't get carried away now. I'm only choking, of course. But perhaps it isn't a laughing matter. I beg your forgiveness. I must practice levity so that I can provide a more enjoyable joke when the opportunity next presents itself. After all, I hear that telling jokes is a good way to calm the nerves before heading into battle. Still, I find it quite difficult. Have you tried sarcasm? Well, it's about time for the battle to begin. Everyone, brace yourselves. <laughs> All I'm worried about is finding someone worthy to cross swords with. We've prepared and trained a great deal. We should be fine, right? You're always so carefree, Mercy. Don't forget we need to try our hardest out there so we can win. This is our chance to show how hard we've been working. Let's do our best. If I emerge victorious in the lauded battle of the Eagle and Lion, the ladies are sure to take notice. Oh, Lord. I have to go into hiding. Ugh, is that all you think about? Yeah, actually, so long as you try your hardest, frame it however you like. <laughs> I shall give it my all. No matter the battle, I will never falter. We're counting Why on the hear it, Professor. Let's show the world what the Blue Lions are made of. Da -da 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 -da. Any day now, the game will load. I know about fishing. Why does it even matter here? Route the enemy. The battle of the eagle and lion is set to begin at long last. Everyone, show off the results of your dedicated training. Remember, we're not just fighting for honor. There's a prize at stake. It's almost time to begin. Steal yourselves, everyone. We get a cutscene. You all should know, I am not about to go easy on you today. As long as we can pull off the win, it doesn't matter how. Our victory must be absolute, no matter what it may take. It Perhaps is time. I shouldn't use the sword of the creator for this. Forward, now! Glory. You can earn a reward if you defeat more enemies than other classes. Let's take a look at the map. Oh, I can see who he's targeting. That's interesting. I'll go. I'll give it my all. 
I'll cut through. Stay focused. The music is pretty go. good, not gonna lie. So Here far the music's just been kind of ordinary. I'm on it. Ready. What should I do? Let us away. Oh, jeez. I don't like that. Black Eagles. Interesting. Oh, it's that girl. The shut in. She's got a longbow. Ingrid, you better keep your distance. Yeah, you're falling back so you can get some heals. I cannot move you in until I take out that archer. Oh, move again. I forgot. He can do that. Okay. Well, I don't want my healer in the thick of the field. Oh, they are fighting each other. That's interesting. Show that coming. Well, this is a mock battle after all. A stronghold for me to seize. Splendid. There goes Lawrence acting on his own. Guess we've got no choice but to capture the Central Hill and cover it. I can't send my flyer in until I get rid of the ar that archer. Well, 
Whistler! You never had a chance. I'm getting strong. A threat eliminated. Interesting how they get soldiers and I just have the units I get. I suppose I... I must stay focused. Why am I even here? Oh, it's a ballista! I want ash on that. Give up. Ready. Ballista out of the picture. I can move you into field. Give my healers follow suit. Ash, you're making a run for that ballista. Kite around. My plan is flawless. Next time, bring your friends. Be gone. Oh, even she can dismount. That's interesting. It's interesting how you can have your riding units dismount. They're going to improve substantially. Yes. <laughs> 
Petro. Yeah, it was a valiant effort, but in vain. Not good enough. See what your level is. Hmm, Magic and dexterity. Today. I'll take it. Another win. I need to pull you back. It's damn archers. Hey, your royalness. If you promise to let me have the prize, I'll let you take the honor of victory. Do we have a deal? Enough of your foolishness. I... Wait a moment. You are trying to anger me, is that it? <laughs> Saw right through me, did you? Well, if there's no deal, I'll just have to win this thing fair and square. I will happily face you, here and now. Do not hold back, Claude. Banter! Careful, please. I'll do my best. You saved me. It actually might be best to have you dismount. Seems we're at a stalemate. Looks like the Golden Deer won't be winning this round. I have the advantage, but I want 
uh, what's his name? Dimitri to face her. Ready. It's literally her against everyone. chest. I'm gonna try to go for it. I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to zoom in. Again, I did not mean to do that. I'm trying to zoom in. I'm gonna slip by you here. Oh, you still have your spells. Good. Sufficient. like a champ, Mercy. And my prize is a killer lance. Okay, Dimitri. It's time to finish this. So, it is time to cross blades. I never imagined such a day would come to pass. If the Empire and the Kingdom go to war, we'll be able to fight as much as we please. I am sorry, but that is not something to joke about. The thought of fighting you is troubling at best. In that case, I wonder when you'll be able to stomach facing me in battle. Do you need a few moments? <laughs> nice work, Dimitri. Not so sure about this. Healthy. And there goes my healer. That was your mistake. Because 
now you're defeated. That was fun. I will get stronger yet. I hate to admit it, but it seems this is as far as the Black Eagle House goes. That is the end of this year's Battle of the Eagle and Lion. And the winners are the Blue Lions. We won. And judging by our performance, I'm certain we have earned the prize as well. Awesome. Excellent work, Dimitri. So, what is my prize? I'll skip it for this right now. Support? Yeah, I know how support works. Thank you. Well done, your princeliness. I'm certainly not in any hurry to get on your bad side. I assumed you would attack us head on. I clearly need to rethink my opinion of you. Well done, Dimitri. You both deserve equal praise for a battle well fought. All three houses did extremely well. I noticed I played more on the defensive side. I went for the center point and attempted to hold it. And I think I read did a rather well enough job at that. Don't you agree, Professor? Well, the Black Eagle House was quite strong. Not strong enough, clearly. If there's ever a next time, Know that I plan to wipe that smile from your face. In any case, I hope the day never comes when we have to put this experience to use. I wouldn't mind. I'll accept a challenge from either of you at any time. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. There's nothing wrong with a duel between pugilists. Or, you know what I mean. That is nothing to joke about. The true battle of the eagle and lion is best left in the past. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if they eventually change the name of this mock battle. Let's do our best just to get along now. How admirable, Teach. On that note, I have a proposition. When we get back to Garrig Mach, let's have a grand feast to break down the walls between our respective houses. And by a grand feast, I mean a fairly regular feast in the dining hall. You really value that kind of thing, don't you? <laughs> well... I suppose no harm can come from it. Count me in. Nothing wrong with a good I meal. No objections either. And you, Professor? I'm looking forward to it. You look so happy. I love seeing you like this. I suppose that look on your face is just another boon from this glorious day. Perhaps the best one of all. I had a wonderful time today, Professor. As usual, I was astonished by how much you ate in the name of celebration. Really, though, I must thank you again. Our victory in the Battle of the Eagle and Lion was thanks in no small part to you. We all did our part. Yes, that is true. But it was your instruction that allowed us to reach our full potential. I feel silly admitting this now. But when you first came to lead our class, you unnerved me. You never smiled, and you never showed anger either. And yet, you didn't appear to be suppressing your emotions. They just... weren't there. At first, I thought perhaps you just didn't care for us. But I soon concluded that wasn't the case at all. For the longest time, I just couldn't tell what you were thinking. It was though you had no humanity whatsoever. Wow, that stings. You're different now. In the half year we've spent together, I've seen the glow of humanity in your eyes and in your actions countless times. I am truly grateful to have had the chance to spend this time with you, Professor. What are you two talking about? How dare you get chummy without us? That's enough, Sylvain. Oh, please. I would love to join you as well. I have so many things I wish to talk to you about, Professor. Oh, me too. I have so much to tell you. And I want to thank you too. Honestly, Professor, I was only able to achieve so much because you were with us. Ash is right. You're irreplaceable to us, Professor. 
Yes, that! Without you, the Blue Lions... Well, we wouldn't even be the Blue Lions at all. Except for the blue part. Because it'd be sad. <laughs> I suppose there are worse things than fighting at your side. I think that's the only pleasant thing you've ever told me. I have had the opportunity to experience much. Please allow me to offer you my gratitude once more, Professor. <laughs> as you can see, you have our trust as well as our admiration. I look forward to spending the rest of the year with you. As do I. Good. Then let's give it our all this year. Anyhow, it's getting late. We had better return to our quarters and get some rest. I can only call your deeds during the Battle of the Eagle and Lion quite versatile. Comparing against their performance at the mock Battle of the Great Tree Moon, the students have grown significantly. It is clear that this is a result of your guidance. In appreciation of your efforts and to show our high hopes for the future of your students, I award you with this. Please continue to instruct your students as a model teacher. So? You've made good use of all my power after all. I would have been upset if you had failed at such an easy task. It pains me to assign such a disturbing mission to you during such a blessed moment in time. However, next month your assignment will be to journey to Remire Village to investigate an abnormal occurrence there. Okay. Remire Village. If I recall, you've been there with your father many times. An abnormal occurrence. What, what do you mean? I have yet to ascertain the details, but it would seem the villagers have been acting strangely. I have already dispatched the knights to verify the authenticity of this information. They should be back shortly. I suggest you begin by finding out what they have discovered. I pray this is not a bad omen. May the goddess protect you all. A blessed lance. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Fire Emblem Three Houses as I continue with the story to see where it brings me. Part One White Clouds Red Wolf Moon The Flame in the Darkness Okay... Hoarfrost now graces treetops and open fields alike, and an icy chill blown in from the north of Fargus blankets the land. All of Fodland's creatures begin to settle in for a long winter. The setting sun bathes the full winter coat of every wolf in a foreboding scarlet glow. Hunters can now spread the word that the red wolves are back on the prowl. Yes, an old weapon will break with repeated use. That's... I know how durability works. Thank you, game. Okay, I got the monthly salary. Uh, sure, Flane. What do you need? Excuse me, Professor. May I have a moment of your time? Of course. Ah, wonderful. I was hoping you might enlighten me. About yourself, that is. You see, I happen to be quite curious about you. Why is that? Well, because there is something different about you. You possess an air of mystery. I could not help but notice when first we met. I am intrigued, to say the least. I find it rather difficult to put into words. Were I to wax poetic, I would say you remind me of the sea. Have you ever been, Professor? A few times, yes. The sea is vast, boundless. On the surface, all seems still. Yet beneath that stillness, 
It is unfathomably deep. Within, it teems with life. Yet without, one is lucky to glimpse a fleeting shadow. And yet, all one must do is cast a line to grasp hold of all that life. You cannot see it at a glance, but it is there all the same. What are you talking about exactly? About fish, of course. Oh, bother. I got sidetracked, didn't I? Right. About the sea. During a storm, the once calm waters become mighty enough to overturn even the vastest ships. Not unlike you. You are calm. You carry yourself with poise. Yet you wield great power. My brother was uncertain of you at first. He once referred to you as a youth of dubious origin. Oh, but please do not think ill of him. He is incredibly dedicated to his work. I don't have much of an opinion of your brother. So surely you understand why he would have doubts about one of whom he knows so little. Nobody even seems to know your age. Incidentally, how old are you? I'd rather not say, but I'm actually 23. Aha! I suspect that if you choose not to say, you must be quite young. Hmm. Looking at you, it is quite difficult for me to determine. I wonder... Could you be younger than your own students? I honestly doubt that. And how old are you, exactly? I'm 23, by the way. Me? Well... I am roughly the same age as the other youths here. Oh, that's telling me a lot. I'll be 24 on the 8th of September. You look younger than the others. Be that as it may, it is simply not the case. Oh, by the way, you should know I had actually been considering enrolling in the Academy for a while. I have endured hard times. But I am so grateful that those very experiences led to my acceptance of the Academy. Oh, my apologies. I am sure you have much work to do. I will not keep you any longer. We must speak again sometime, if that would be all right. Have a lovely day. Hmm. Well, you're a strange one, Flame. That's what we're dealing with. Oh my god. Is there no chance it's an infectious disease? There are no absolutes in medicine, but the chances are extremely slim. Keep Restless going. movements, fits of violence, becoming bedridden, or even impossible to wake. With symptoms that varied, there are only a few possibilities. It's either a mixture of poisons or magic, and dark magic at that. You're talking about Ramire Village, aren't you, Manuela? Oh my, if it isn't Gerald. Tell me, what was the first thing you heard? Everything, after you mentioned that it's not likely an infectious disease. My child and I owe the people of Vermeer Village. If something's happening there, we must help them. We scouted the area ourselves. Speak with the Knights, hear what they have to say. I must go. Thank you for your help, Manuela. You know, I'm more than willing to go with you to Remire Village. After all, I owe you my life. If you'd like, I bet we could even manage the mission all by ourselves. Just the two of us. <laughs> Please stop it. Now I'm afraid. You're saying no? Well... Aren't you just a great big boar? Nice try, but I'll be going to the village as well. Enough nonsense. It's time to move out. <sighs> as you like. Goodbye, Gerald. Goodbye, Professor. A woman is trouble. I'll be in my office making preparations. What about you? If you have the time, it would be helpful if you could go ahead and talk to the knights. <laughs> hey! What's wrong? I just got dizzy is all. If anything feels off, return to the infirmary. No need to just grin and bear it. Got it? 
Ugh, what could have caused such dizziness? I felt it too. Actually, I felt that way before. Who is Sothis? Don't actually tell me now. It's just... Like I said, we're doing this next time. Thank you all for watching. I'm the Dark Seraph, signing off.